After I gave birth to my second child, I suffered from postpartum depression. The hope of life seemed to get further and further away from me. I grew up in a single-parent household, which had a profound effect on my upbringing. When I brought my child into the world, I began to feel selfish. I began to doubt my ability to give him a happy life. The world was full of pain and hardship, and I feared I would not be able to protect him. My appetite gradually waned, I had no taste for whatever I ate, and I even lost interest in food. I also stopped feeling hungry, which made me worry about my health. I felt myself falling into a dark mood. This depression made me feel helpless and hopeless. I longed to find a way to overcome this mood and to create a positive and healthy home environment for my children. About six months after giving birth, something very strange happened. I saw some black figures. They were not friendly to me, but hostile and wanted to hurt me. The shadows seemed to be an accumulation of negative energy, and they could change into various different faces and try to scare me at night. I felt so scared that I couldn't sleep for several nights. I didn't know where these shadows came from or why they were bothering me. Their presence made me feel helpless and confused. My energy was completely depleted. I became very weak and tired. One afternoon, after I had successfully put my son to bed, I lay down on my bed with the intention of resting for a while. In that dazed state, I quickly fell into a deep sleep. After a while, I felt pulled by some invisible force and I started sliding downward. I fell into a dark cave, and I was immediately engulfed by a strong wave of fear. It was pitch black around me, as if I was lost in the infinite darkness. The cave was filled with an eerie atmosphere that made me feel oppressed and unable to breathe. The power of fear gripped my mind like a magic claw and I couldn't escape its bindings. I began to wonder if I really belonged in this place. I felt that it was my own choice to be trapped in this dark cave. That I had imprisoned myself here. At that moment, I felt helpless and confused. I wanted to return to the real world where I belonged, but I didn't know how I should do it. The dark cave seemed to have no exit, Everything became blurred and I completely lost my sense of direction. Suddenly, I sensed several dark shadows approaching me, and an evil aura permeated their surroundings. As they got closer, their shapes became clear. They were twisted human forms, their bodies shrouded in darkness, their eyes glowing red. They made eerie noises. I prayed that God would help me. I prayed as I overcame my inner fear. I gazed at them with a confident gaze. Gradually, I realized that the power of these dark shadows began to gradually weaken. I began to discover the power within myself, they were warm and bright. The black shadows had become weakened. The black shadows began to gradually dissipate. A bright light emerged from the darkness. It was like a hand lifting me up and carrying me out of that dank cave. I floated to the roof of my house. I saw a group of people gathered around my body. I felt curious and wondered why they were so concerned about my body. I was now filled with peace and felt very happy in my current state. I felt an overwhelming sense of relief and freedom from the pain and worries of the past few weeks in my life. In this state, I feel ready to leave. I understood that I was about to take a new journey, beyond the confines of the real world. I continued to float upward, away from my home. I came into the sky above the city, where everyone was doing their own thing. As I continued to rise, people and buildings gradually became smaller and smaller. I floated up to the clouds and decided to stop there. It didn't matter, although I didn't know why I was doing it. I just did it for the pure joy of it. 
I was suspended in the clouds and I felt a sense of peace and lightness. The clouds were very soft. My form became smaller and smaller until I was part of the cloud. I felt like I became the cloud and became one with it. As I continued to move upward, I could see the outline of the earth. From this height, I could enjoy a magnificent view of the earth, with its large land masses and vast oceans. I was immersed in this spectacular view. I was able to see the complete connection between every living thing and plant, which are interdependent in the cycle of life. All connections are part of God. For a long time in the past, I had been questioning everything in the world, lost in confusion and doubt. Here, those worries that once plagued me became unimportant. Every person, every creature, every plant is irreplaceable. Whether it was a tiny insect or a tall tree, I saw the interdependence and interplay between them, how important each one was. Suddenly, I felt a powerful and warm force. In front of me, an angel appeared. He radiated a shining light and was filled with pure love. The angel's presence filled me with awe and joy. He took me on a new journey. We traveled at a very fast pace. I was struck by the sight before me. I saw an endless universe of stars. These sights made me feel how small I was. This journey filled my heart with energy and light. I also saw a ladder to heaven. An old man was slowly walking up the ladder to heaven. His face was filled with peace and joy, as if he had found his home. At the gate of heaven, I saw a large group of people lining up. Each one was with joy and expectation. On both sides of the road were their loved ones. There were also many angels gathered at the gates of heaven, who were tall and majestic. They are God's messengers, responsible for welcoming those souls who arrive in heaven. Next, the angels took me into a room. I felt the unique energy of this room. The walls of the room emitted a warm glow and mysterious symbols and patterns floated on the ceiling. This room seemed to be a reception room. Suddenly, I heard a gentle and loving voice. My child, welcome. I had not seen God, but I knew in my heart that it was his voice. Only he could give me such a feeling. God then said to me, My child, I love you and everything will be okay. No matter what happens, my love will never leave you. His words were filled with infinite love and forgiveness, and I could feel his care. I felt the unconditional love and acceptance of God. His love was like a gentle feather that gently wrapped around me and gave me strength and courage. I had many questions within me. I asked God why there was so much pain in my life. I hoped to find the answer. God told me that the pain in my life was not his punishment of me but was brought on by the complexity of the world. He encouraged me to hold on to faith and hope, to believe that there is a turning point and salvation in adversity. He assured me that his love and strength would always be with me. God showed me some scenes. I saw images come to me of things that had always been a source of pain for me. I saw scenes of myself being abused by my father when I was a child and I felt that helplessness. Then I saw the experience of being bullied by other students at school, and the teasing and bullying made me feel depressed. These memories made me feel depressed and I began to question my worth and the meaning of my life. God told me to take a closer look at my surroundings. I found an angel by my side in all of these painful scenes. God told me that this angel had always been there for me and had never left me. He is my guardian angel. I understood that God's love transcended all the pain I was experiencing. He let me know that one day I would return to my true home and meet him again. 
In that moment, I will be truly comforted and all my pain will be healed. I had a very long conversation with God. During this time, God showed me my future life and filled me with hope and faith in the future. I saw my future and realized it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I saw myself having a fulfilling and meaningful life. I see myself spending quality time with the people I love, with family relationships that are harmonious and warm. These sights give me hope that no matter what difficulties and challenges I encounter in my life's journey, God will be with me and guide me to a better future. He made me understand that He has paved the way for me and that everything will go smoothly as long as I keep my faith and courage. He encouraged me not to give up and to persevere in the pursuit of the goodness within. After saying goodbye to God, the angel took me out of heaven. We began to descend gradually and I could feel the touch of the air around me and the gravitational pull of the earth. I returned to my body. I felt the warmth of my body and my consciousness reunited with my physical body. It was a bit of a wonderful feeling, like being back in a familiar and fresh place again. I could hear the sounds of my surroundings and feel the weight and touch of my body. I can hear the chirping of birds. These sounds are full of life and vitality and make me feel the beauty of life deeply. I opened my eyes and found myself lying in bed, surrounded by my familiar bedroom. My favorite pictures were hanging on the walls, making me feel very close to them. The light shining through the window made me feel very warm. I took a deep breath. I realized that this experience was not just a dream, but a real and amazing journey. When I was asked if I believed in God, my answer was yes. I am grateful for the guidance and love given to me by the angels and God, and for that precious experience and revelation. This experience has given me a deeper understanding of God's love. He gave me endless courage and hope. When I returned to the real world, I could still feel God's love. I knew that God was silently supporting me, which made me feel incredibly happy and at ease. This experience also made me believe more strongly in my faith. God's presence does not need to be seen through the eyes, but is perceived through the heart. He is the creator of everything, and each of us is his child, and his love for us is unconditional.